There's one maneuver that seems to be difficult for many imagers and sometimes for me too when I'm out in the middle of nowhere trying to build my telescope up. And that is the meridian slip. The meridian slip occurs when the telescope has to cross the north-south line across the sky. And it looks something like that. If you're trying to follow an object and you keep on following it, you will eventually get your neck quite stiff. And that's where you turn around 180 degrees and follow it. The telescope does the same, and we call that the meridian slip. The meridian slip usually will go fine if there is no conflict between the software of your mount and the software that is running your imaging system. And if there is a conflict, that can cause a peer crash, which is most unpleasant. One has to be extremely careful, and that's why many imagers fear or actually avoid the meridian ship. This becomes very easy when the command is given to only one single device. The control is given to the StarSense Auto Guider. Then the software that you use is only used for imaging, and that makes it extremely easy. I'm going to demonstrate that now. Here, the software, the CPWI software is open, and you can see this is the home position at the moment uh, on the CGX mount of my RASA 8. And I'm going to choose an arbitrary point along the meridian, just before the meridian, so that we can watch the flip. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit here so that you can see it. And you can see here is my east. East is down here. And I am going to choose a point somewhere, an arbitrary point. Let's choose this one here. That's maybe a little bit too close. Let's go a little bit further. So we have a little bit of time. Four minutes seems fine. And I'm going to send the telescope there. So it's going to the, to the east side at the moment. And then we're going to start imaging. So whilst the telescope is going to this arbitrary position, <laughs> I'm just going to switch off the light so that the StarSense Auto Guider doesn't get scattered light because it has to star sense the precise position. And it's doing that now, it's correcting that. And we are very close to the meridian right now. So the telescope is quite steep actually and close to the mount. So I'm going to now go to the star sense auto guider i'm going to switch on guiding also guiding always on is important and auto meridian flip i'm going to invoke that too so by switching on the auto meridian flip everything should go by itself in the meantime we can go to our imaging software and you can see this was just the last image i've got it on a continuous run here it's taking one minute images and that was of course because the telescope was moving and you can still see there was some movement there but yes, um, the stars are beginning to become stable there. And if we go back into the StarSense Auto Guider software, we can look at the guide graphics here. And it's starting to indeed correct right now. So the guider is already working, everything is fine, and we should be quite close to the meridian flip. We're just going to wait now until this happens. And now, on the CPWI software, we're getting a warning. This is the two-minute warning for the Meridian slip. And you can see we're still taking images. And here we go. Oh. I'm just going to switch off the light for one moment. Yeah. so that the StarSense Auto Guider doesn't get scattered light. And it's now sensing correctly and performing correction now. And now let's see when the guiding will start again. So I'm going to go back into the guider graphics. And here it starts already. So the guiding has started again. Let's go back into our imaging system and see what happens there. 
And this should stabilize very soon. The next picture should be much better. Yeah. And then we're back running. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, indeed. That picture looks fine again. And this really simplifies imaging quite a lot. We've done a meridian flip without any problems, and we can even do that remotely, as I sometimes do from my house inside. So I hope you can see that the StarSense AutoGuider is really a big asset for imaging, and it brings the, the joy back to imaging. On that sense, I wish you a wonderful time imaging without a lot of stress.